Going to be tying a quill buzzer, but the first thing I'm going to do is prepare the quill. Now this is a this is a peacock eye feather, and the quills are the individual fibres that come away from the eye, which you strip this fine hair off from, and then this reveals the quill itself. Now once you've stripped it, I'll show you what it's finished like. There it's that's a, the hair has been removed from the quill. And it means, uh, you can see there's a well marked fibre that can be easily used in the dry fly buzzer. You name it, it's a great body. Uh, so there's some traditional wet flies I like to use it in as well. But certainly worth having. Now, to strip the quill, all I've got here is this is a piece of blue tack, the edge of my desk. Just gives you a bit of grip. Now, this is a, a rubber. It's actually, it's actually a rubber, a tyre type thing. You could use a normal rubber if you want. And believe it or not, this came out of Kellogg's packet. Um, crispy packet. I've used it for years. And all I do is use that to rub against the fibre and remove it. Now, it's simple. What I do is put my thumb, lay down the quill. Now, the best part of the quill is at the, the bottom. It's the best marked area. Now, it's a... When you're looking for peacock eyes as well, make sure you get one that there is a well marked or light colour in the back. You'll always have a better body if you if you buy one like that. Now it's very easy. All you're doing is going against the, the fibres of the hero and removing them. Now put your thumb on top, put the obviously curl onto the, the blue tack and lightly do you do it. Nice and light. Don't force it. Now, as you can see, there's the fine, the fine fibres on the rubber. Now, best to remove that, you just simply rub it onto your, your trouser leg, and that's okay. And that then will keep the rubber working. Now, if you look, there's still some hair along. Now, believe it or not, turn it round. Don't keep rubbing on the one side. And then rub the other side, nice and light. Just take your time. The hair will come off, but don't rub too hard. And there you are. That's the best part of the quill, down the bottom area. You're well marked. And you can see, ideal for the bodies. Prepared the quill. Now I'm going to tie the fly. This is. There's many variants out there of the image patterns you can tie. This is one of the ones that I like. And I'm going to put breathers on it. Now, the hook I'm using is a Camasan B110 size 10. The thread I'm using is a, U a UTC 140 in black. And I'm going to put the breathers on, and I'm using white marabou as for the for the breathers for these flies with image patterns. Now, not everyone likes them, but I know plenty do, so. It's worth having some with and some without. Now, I've tied on the thread maybe four or five turns down. And I'm going to tie in the white marabou. As you see, I've used some slivers, as we'd say, just to hold it together, or the marabou will go everywhere. Cut it maybe an inch or so from the, the hook itself. Trimmed it at an angle at the back, so when I wind the, the thread down, it tapers away, it helps you to form the body. Now, I'm going to use uh, a UV flash. This is the one I like. This is a flash of boo. There's a code 6904. That's a UV mobile type flash. Now, I need a single strand. Catch it on the side and wind down. Now, UTC, I want it thinner. If you anti clockwise spin the bobbin. I'll flatten the thread out for you. Just winding as you go. Get to this point here, and then get your peacock eye, a strip peacock. Just double check it's okay. You know, removed all the fine fibres. Now, when I tear them from the peacock eye, you get a fine piece of skin comes off with it. Now I'm going to catch that on the side and wind up. 
really spread the thread a wee bit. Oops. Just cut the eye. Just work your way up. Take your time. Really until you're probably in line with. When you let the thread go, it's in line with the point of the hook. Now bring your UV up. Reasonably close. Touch another touching turns if you want, but enough of when you rib your curl up through that you see it. Get to this point, a couple of turns to hold it, then remove the excess. And then with the peacock quill, I'm going to rub the fly. There's a small crease at the back, but just rub your nail on it, which will flatten it. And then bring the quill up, leaving a space so that you can see the, the UV coming through all the way up to this point here. And then across your thread a couple of turns again. Then we trim the full length of the thorax. Now this is where the breathers come in, they're a bit of a pain. Now what I like to do is come up, lift it, and bring the thread to the front, two or three turns, keeping basically the thread, the layer of thread the same thickness, because if you don't do that and you come up to tie, it'll be like a step and it'll cause you problems, it'll push everything forward, and you don't want that. Now, this is one of the new holographics. This is the orange and medium. It's a lovely colour. Let's take a length. Now what I'm going to do here is, you're looking for one either side for the, the wing buds. You're looking for around about, say, maybe an inch. Now I fold it round, keeping it tight, bring your thread to the back, and all the way, keeping it underneath, to the body end of the body there, and then build up your thorax. Depending on how heavy you want it, you got them down three or four times, or in this case, really four times or so. Now I went down about two thirds and then come back up. Now some like the buzz was really fine, so that would be enough. Now I'm just going to put a wee half hitch under here, just for security, especially with UTC thread. You'll find that if you touch it, it'll unravel. Now, when I bring these up and on the sides, you want them in front. So, basically bring one to this side, tighten up. One to this side, tighten up. And then, I'm going to pull them all back. Uh, in about three or four turns, that's all. Keeping it tight and forget everything just now. And then come in and whip finish. So it's much easier to tie the buzzer or the midge pattern without the breathers being there because you can easily get in and tie everything off. And then come in and you need your scissors really sharp to catch the edge of the, the holographic and tear it off. Then come in, tear it off. Then for speed what I would do I'd put super glue down first and then varnish a couple of times. What I'm going to do is just put some varnish on here just to give you an idea. Come round. I like, I like to use a brush. Brush is much better. You can apply the varnish much evenly, much more. If you do better. put it on, you can actually take it back off. Now, yeah, I'd probably put on around about three coats. Yeah, I'm just going to watch you don't touch the breathers, by the way. Just take your time. Now, I'd normally wait till that was dry before I cut these, but just come in with your scissors, a couple of mil from the thigh, and I'm just tapping on the top carefully. Bring the light yeah. over and down, you see the, the light, how it catches the holographic really well, nice and bright. So, see, once you've got a couple of coats on that. Okay.